Hey guys, so today I filmed this, I guess, duochrome dramatic AF video for you. Um, I guess, I don't know if it would be that good for the holidays other than maybe New Year's and I don't even want to talk about that. The fact that we're almost to 2016, like that is insane. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video, so let's get into it. Okay, so, so far I did my foundation and my eyebrows and I set and primed my, um, or primed and set my eyelids. So next we're going to go with the color tattoo by Eye Studio or Maybelline in Tough as Taupe. Just a really pretty taupe color, like taupey gray you could take. Um, black or whatever. A nice dark base will look good with the eyeshadow that we're going to use. And I'll show you the eyeshadow in a second. I'm just going to apply this with my finger. Okay, if it looks like super messy because when you go in with your blending brush and other colors, like, it's just gonna, it'll look good, trust me. Next, I'm gonna take the color Nectar to help blend this out. And I know I use this color all the time, but it's honestly my favorite, favorite transition shade. I love it so much. And this is a Sonia Kashuk blending brush. I'm just gonna take it on the edges of where it looks super messy. And you want to be kind of hard with it. Not too hard to the point where you hurt yourself, obviously, but like just to really nicely blend it out. And you could go in, I'm going to go with my finger too. Okay, so now for the star of the show, I'm going to take the color Hocus Pocus by the brand Prestige. It's a beautiful duochrome, like, green-brown um, eyeshadow, and this is, like, $8.99, and it's a dupe for, I think there's a Makeup Geek color like this it's a, in their duochrome collection, and then there's also a MAC Pigment, MAC Pigment um, green brown I think I believe Carly Bible used it in one of her looks so um yeah this is a good dupe I know Makeup Geek isn't um, expensive or anything but Mac obviously is a little bit more expensive and you could get this at Ulta and I think Rite Aid and maybe Walgreens sells prestige so yeah I love this eyeshadow um, but I'm gonna apply it with my finger I feel like it applies the bestest way. I don't really like how it applies with um, brushes. But if you rather a brush, I would recommend like a flat shader brush to get as much pigmentation out of the color as you can. See how pretty that is? Like it's just like it looks like a dark mermaid. I love it. Okay, so okay, so now once you're like happy with the um, application of your eyeshadow, um, I'm gonna go in with a Morphe shade from the Morphe 350. This shade I'm gonna mix it with um, this shade like dead center. And the first color, it's like a little lighter, it's at the last row, second to the bottom. And this shade, right in the middle, is a dupe for um, Makeup Beaks Cocoa Bear, I believe. I'm just going to mix those two and put them in my crease transition shade to just bring a little bit more warmth into the look. Now 
I'm just gonna go a little bit in with the Hocus Pocus color again and just like um, I guess revamp it a little bit mainly in the center then go I'm gonna go like back and forth with this and the blending brush until I'm satisfied with the pigmentation And then I'm going to take a mixture of this, these two shades right at the bottom. One that's in the center and one that's one over. Just to darken it up a little bit, I'm going to take this Essence Crease Brush to do that. Okay, so for highlight on the brow bone, I'm going to take the color Snow. This is my favorite highlight color. The brow bone, I'm going to take it on the blending brush because I want it more of a diffused um, highlight this time. Even on this blending brush, it's still crazy pigmented. I love this shade. Okay, so now I'm going to take the same snow shade, and this is like a little brush from Craft Smart. I don't know, I got it from AC Moore. I use it for my acrylic painting, but um, I feel like this will be good for the inner tear duct. I'm just going to take snow, like I said, and put this um, on my inner tear duct. Very pretty. Okay, so now you're done with the um, eyeshadow for the lid. I'm just going to go do my um, under eye concealer, set it, and then I'll be back and we'll do the eyeliner and the under eye business. Okay, so I zoomed you in and I went ahead and did my whole eye on this side because I really wanted to test, I guess the bottom wing I don't know what it's called but I've been seeing tons of looks with it and I want to try it it I wanted to try it so bad so practice on this eye off camera and I'm gonna do my right eye with you guys so I recommend doing with a gel liner and then you could trace it with um, a liquid liner and all that stuff but I'm just gonna take my favorite liquid liner which is um, jet black by NYX it's there and this is super easy. Like, I didn't realize how easy it was going to be. But definitely don't go in with a liquid liner unless you have complete, like, steady-ass hand. Like, so, yeah, go in with a little brush. You have a little control. And all you're going to do is literally, I guess, mimic your tear duct line. And as if you were doing extreme cat eye and you were making your eyes look more like a cat. Now you're going to do is... Bring your line like down here again, mimicking your tear duct. And then bringing it up to the lash line and then just drawing a line across. And then I'm going to go back in and sharpen it up a little. And if it looks a little messy, it's okay because we're going to buff it out and stuff with your other eyeshadow. And now I'm going to go ahead and do my wing liner on my top lid.
Okay, so now once you're happy with your wing liner and all that jazz, you're going to go in with whatever brush you want to buff out this line a little bit and give it a little bit smoked out. This shade and that shade. And then we're just going to buff this black line out. And then I'm going to take Prestige color and Hocus Pocus, the main eyeshadow color, and just kind of put it over top. It's not going to make much of a difference, but it'll just help tie everything together. And then on the lash line, or the water line, I'm going to take CoverGirl's Liquiline Blast. It's actually a really dark brown. Now, I'm going to take another liner. I'm going to take Rimmel's Coal Liner in Nude. I'm going to put that more towards the inner tear duct and bring it on the skin that is open um, from the line you created. Okay. And then with the same brush that we use to apply, um, where is it? Oh, that we use to apply snow on the inner tear duct, I'm going to take snow again and put it where we just put that nude liner. And I'm going to um, kind of touch up my inner tear duct as well. Okay, so for highlight, I want to do my Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator with some of this e.l.f. Pink Tastic to even out the pink tones. I'm going to take my Anastasia So Hollywood. So now for blush, I'm going to take Twinkle Pink from e.l.f. And if you don't want, um, oh my god, this lighting just fucked up. Is this lighting fucked up or is it just me? Maybe it's just me. Um, hopefully it comes up. I think it's like kind of a dupe for orgasm, that's what they used to say back in the day. Uh, but yeah, if you don't want any more shimmer on your face, you can go with a matte, whatever. Okay, now I'm just going to set my face with my NYX Dewy Setting Spray. Okay, and for lips, you can go with like a pink bright lip, a brown lip, nude, which I'm going to do, maybe even like a purpley lip, whatever. But I personally just want to go with like a nudie shade with like some pink undertones because I'm simple like that and basic but the eye is so dramatic that I just want to even everything out so I'm gonna take the shade Airy Fairy by Rimmel and my favorite lip liner of course Natural by NYX Then I'm going to take a little bit of Anastasia's uh, Pure Hollywood liquid lipstick and just put it in the center. Okay. 
okay you guys so this is the finished look I hope you guys enjoyed uh, you don't have to do the bottom line I just felt like this is a good up was a good opportunity for me to practice it because I've been so in love with this look I feel kind of Patrick Star esque I feel like it just gives me Patrick Star's eyes in a way <laughs> but um okay guys I hope you guys enjoyed like subscribe and comment um, follow my Instagram, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Here's to Bunny. <sighs> Ginger tea, bitch. Make it. It's good. It'll save your life. One more time.